So this week I have a bit of a challenge. What I'm trying to do is I want to transcribe a piece that I played on the, on the ukulele a few weeks back so that I can post it on the website. So I'm going to do this in real time. And, and what I'll do is I'll play this into Mixcraft and then I'm going to use the Melodyne engine to, to be able to translate that into a MIDI. Now, I have Mixcraft set to play the metronome throughout the recording. So it's that I have a little click track I'm going to play along to. I'm hoping we're going to be able to translate a polyphonic track here. So let's go. Let's, let's give this a shot. I'm going to say go. Ready? So I'm going to let it run for four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's recorded. You can see down the bottom of this. I hope you can see this and I hope it's recording. What I'm going to do right now is to try to change that to a MIDI file. Right click and convert audio to MIDI. So I believe you can only do this if you have Melodyne installed and I believe it's using the Melodyne engine to do this. So if I click that then what we should see momentarily is a new track created and this will be a MIDI track of what was just recorded. There we go. Okay, so that's that's the new track. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down onto this. I have another track below it that I set up before which has um, it's set up to play. I believe it's still set up to play. Uh, a ukulele sound. So let's see how that sounds. Um, and I'm going to play through this. this. If I hit the button here. It seems to be putting some extra notes in there. Maybe it's picking up some harmonics or something. But that that seems to have done the trick. Now you can see down the bottom here, it's got these extra notes in here. So. Uh, probably I can get rid of all of these too. So what I'm going to do now is to quantize this track where it says MIDI editing. There's a, uh, this place here where there's a down arrow. The first one is quantize. Now if I hit quantize, what it's going to do is I can quantize this into eighth notes. I can choose other note values. Uh, now since this is uh, played in eighth notes, then this should really be quantized to eighth notes. So let's just try that. Uh, that's what I think in theory. And it says start times and note ends. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to click OK and we'll see. Notice that the notes here are uh, they're not quite at the start of every every beat. Okay, let's do this. Hit the OK button. And you see it shifted everything so that it's lined up. Each note's lined up with the beginning of of a of the start of an eighth note. Looks like there's a note missing there. So let's see what that sounds like. So that sounds pretty pretty clear. Sounds nice and clear. Now I could clean this up a little bit in the MIDI editor here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just send this out and see if we can bring this into Guitar Pro. Okay, so what I need to do now is to go up to the file menu and say 
um, save as a MIDI file. So I'm going to do that. It says you've made changes that have not been saved. Would you like to save? Let's save it. Yeah, that's a good idea. There we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. So it's even actually showing the this as if it's on a grand staff, which is not what I want. But uh, let me see. I wonder if I can change that. Uh, let me just see if there's a um, another instrument I can I can use instead of that, because what I really want is a, a, a ukulele. Uh, let's see if I put six strings, but put four strings. How about that? Four, st four strings ukulele. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's uh, that's changed that to, to ukulele. I don't know what this part does here. It looks like it's set on uh, acoustic nylon string settings. So let's see what happens if I do that. Well, that's interesting. It's still putting it on the grand. No, it's actually put this. Oh, wow. Even without taking this into Guitar Pro, that's interesting. It's put this into uh, a file that's got tab. Well, that's 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 terrific. I actually didn't know you could do that. What is actually happening here is I'm importing this into Guitar Pro, it looks like. Somehow, uh, I don't know how this happened, but somehow it's it's going to bring this into Guitar Pro. So let's let's just do it. Well, look at that. Look at that. That's interesting. So it was actually already open. I'm assuming this is going to work. Great. Not bad, not bad. So that's it for this week. And uh, if you're a Mixcraft user, Guitar Pro user, you might find this useful. Uh, I guess you can do this with any instrument. I just uh, I just wanted to do this for the previous week's video uh, where I, I ran through this. I'll definitely put that up on the website, so look out for that. And uh, for this week, that's it. And as I always like to say, stay tuned, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.